Hey guys, this is Caesar from GamerGraphics.com, and uh, my real name is Steve Corian. I've been a senior designer in aerospace and automotive for 10 years. And one of the tools I'm going to show you today is the Swept Blend tool, and show you guys how to use it. It's a, a function that not a lot of people understand how to use. So I'm going to quickly uh, show you guys how I use it. So I'm going to create a new part. The first thing you want to do is you want to create a path for your blend to follow along. So I go up to the top right up here and I'm going and I select my path tool or well my sketch tool and I hit sketch. Now uh, the path I'm going to make is just going to be something simple just so you guys can get the point. And I'm going to make this 150. I'm going to hit OK. Now, the thing you have to understand about the Swept Blend tool is there are no, it's, it's going to give you two points, a start point here and, a start, and an end point here. Those are going to be where you're going to be able to insert a sketch to uh, sweep on this trajectory. Okay. But what I want to do is I want to have three. I want to have a variable type uh, sweep on this curve. So I'm going to add a datum point to this line. So I just select the line and it's going to put it at 0.5 which is halfway through this curve. You can see this here it says offset 0.5. So I'm going to hit OK. So now I have this cool little point on here. Anyway, so what I do is I go to insert swept blend. And I'm going to make a C channel that's uh, variable and I'm going to show you how uh, the difference between using it with this point and without this point. So the first thing you want to do is click references and you want to click your trajectory and you will see right away that it gives you uh, it highlights a dark red and it says okay this is the path that we're going to sweep along. Once you've done that you click sections. Now you will see there's two green X's right here and you have a, your point, okay, which you can select as well. The first thing I want to do is I want to put my sketch on this point right here. This is my start point, so that's that's where I'm going to consider my start point. So I'm going to select this little green X, and I'm going to hit sketch, and I'm going going to quickly make uh, just a, a U-shaped um, C channel, nothing too fancy. Okay, so we're gonna make uh, we're gonna make this five. We're gonna make this twenty. We're gonna make this fifty. Twenty-five. And then I'm gonna hit equals. Okay, so there's my sketch. I'm gonna get out of here now. It's showing you. Okay, this sketch is gonna go along this profile. So now I need a sketch at the end of my profile. So I want to hit insert. I want to pick my point. Okay, and I want to hit sketch. So this is my original sketch, which is smaller for my, my smaller C channel size. I want my C channel to get wider. I don't want it to get taller. You could, if you wanted, you could make it taller. You could do whatever you want, really. But for the sake of uh, just showing you this tool, I'm going to. Uh, keep it pretty similar. So I'm going to keep the height the same. I'm going to keep it 20. But I'm going to make the width 100. And I'm going to make my radius 10. My radius on my original was 5. So I'm going to do my equals here. Okay, so now I'm done. Now you can see what you what you see here is you see this smaller C channel and you can see it starts to blend out as it gets along the path and gets to this other part of the the C. So, if you wanted to make it thicker cuz right now there's no thickness to this, it's just a surface. Right here on the left there is uh you know, protrusion. So you can select that and it will give you a width 
thickness actually and uh, you can hit OK I'll leave it at 1.5 because that's actually fine so now you can see that my C channel that we started with here on my curve is you know this is my initial shape and you can see that it starts to blend right away it starts to go now this is why I added another point because what if I don't want my C channel to start blending until it's 50% of the way through this curve okay uh, so what you can do now is you can go back to you can edit your your swept blend go back to sections hit insert select your point because you have to select your point to put a sketch on it and I'm basically gonna go in and, and I, I don't want my sketch to start or I don't want my protrusion to start moving until it gets to uh, 50% of the way through so this is why I'm adding a, that's why I added the point at the 50% mark so you basically keep the exact same dimensions that you have on your first sketch this is gonna be 50 this is gonna be 25 then I'll do my equals okay there's my sketch it's the exact same sketch as the first one we put in now when I when I hit OK what you see now is you see that that sketch is added to the middle so now if I look at it from the top this is consistently the same size right here all the way to the midpoint and once it gets to here it says okay well now I'm going to start spreading out to fill to make this protrusion match out here so you're basically just creating sections along a curve to to make this C channel which is really that's really all there is to it it's really not that complicated of a tool you can use multiple shapes you can have a circle here and a square here and if you you know if users request that um, it's something I can show it's not really that difficult the only thing going from circle to square is that you if you have a square you have four points okay if you have a circle you need to have four points so if you'll notice I'll show you real quick before I before I end this if you go into your sections you'll see that there is a number associated with it they're called segments okay if I have five segments in this one in this section I need five segments in this one in this section okay and I need five segments in this section otherwise the protrusion the sweat blend will not work so like I was saying if you have a rectangle here on this section it's got four segments correct when you get to this part here use the segment break tool I'll show you what the segment break tool is if you're on if you're unfamiliar with it this tool right here is called the segment break this line this line right here is one continuous line okay I know that because I created it but if you hi highlight over it it's now one line okay but if I click this break tool and select from here to here all it did was break my line in half so now I have two lines okay but here's the thing my my protrusion won't work now see it's going to fail because it's saying you have six segments now but these two sketches have five a lot of people run into that so if you create a circle you have to break that circle into four segments to match your square like I said if you need me to uh, make you a tutorial for that just reply and I'll make you a quick tutorial um, but otherwise that's pretty much the hard and fast rules of uh, the sweat blend I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial and uh, if you have questions uh, feel free to ask feel free to rate and again, this is Caesar, aka Steve Corian from GamerGraphics.com.